Hello everyone, surprise I changed my hair. This is a toner though, so underneath here there is a lot of blonde still, but I decided to switch it up and just try something new. So this will probably last like two to three weeks. But yeah, I just got it done yesterday. This super like hot pink in the front and it's kind of like a rose gold. It almost looks brunette on camera, I feel. Um, I think it's like a slight bit lighter in real life or like different lighting, but yeah, it's definitely a bit of a change. Let me know what you think down below. Today, I'm so excited. This video is not sponsored or anything, but um, I'm doing like a, a campaign today for my Instagram and I'm like, sponsored by glass house over there i'm so excited because glass house candles are like one of my favorite brands ever mine and hamish's all-time favorite candle is the taha i think it is by glass house that you get at peter alexander it's like just top tier so i'm so excited and this smells so similar but it's like a limited edition vibe and i'm doing a campaign for this so i thought i would match my makeup to this today that's why i'm showing you this and pointing it out just because i'm gonna be inspired by like these types of colors and hopefully it goes with my hair I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'll probably change my top to something more similar to like one of these two colors. But yeah, let's just see what happens. I don't have a eyeliner. I think I'm doing something graphic. I don't have an eyeliner in that color. So I might just like play around real quick and mix together these two and see what color it makes. Because yeah, I just don't have the right shade. Otherwise I have a pink liner. This is pink velvet, which is like an identical match. But I've done graphic pink liner lately. So I'm like... Don't know. So that's the color it made. Loki, I'm a genius. Oh my god. I feel like it just needs a little bit more of the blue. Oh my god, I am so clever. Look at me go. <laughs> that was way easier than I thought it would be, and Loki, it's like perfect, so. Okay, so I'll let you know what those shades are when we get there, but for now, I think I'm gonna do like a pink base eyeshadow and then. Yeah, do the teal on top and just see what it looks like. Like, it's just going to be a creative look today. So for my base and lips, I think I'm going to keep it, like, glam. You know, like, just nice so that the eye makeup doesn't look too crazy. Well, it probably still will look crazy, but you know what I'm saying. So let's start off with the base. Well, I'm going to use this in a little bit. I'm going to use my Auric Pyrite Glow Lust. I've already moisturized and everything, so I might just pop on some of this. I gave my hair a trim too, guys, so chopped off. I don't even know how much, but it was really long and like the ends were a little bit dead. So I thought I would just freshen up the cut. And I'm so happy I did it. My hair feels so much more like thick at the bottom now. Just using a flat face brush by So Beauty. And I'm going to just blend that in. By the way, these earrings are from She Sells Co, I believe. I will link them below because they were kindly gifted to me and they're so cute. I think it's a New Zealand small business. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation in Macaroon 230N because it's right in front of me from my last video I did which was a full face of first impressions again. I'll link it below for you and I'm just going to use the same brush and kind of like dot that out and blend it out. I will have to blend this down my neck because I've got fat tan on my chest, but I didn't put it on my neck. I need to get this chair oiled. It's so annoying. I'm just going to add some more on my forehead. A little bit more on my neck. Oof. The hair is already popping off like once I've got foundation on. I don't know, like someone who's seen the hair so far with no makeup on. I didn't have time to do my makeup before my hair appointment like I normally do. So like, I don't know, I feel like you never know how your hair really looks until you like put on your glam you know that's just me I don't know and then I'm going to take my Huda Beauty tan tour before I conceal I love this stuff I'm using a little bit did I say what color fair I don't know I've lost my memory popping that in the hollow of my cheeks and this is a tapered face brush by XO Beauty I love it for cream contour oh my god that looks snatched I haven't contoured this much in a long time I need it at the moment though. My jaw is so painful again because I haven't had any Botox in ages since last year and yeah I've got like nothing left. No Botox like top, no jaw Botox which is my main one I love because it helps with my grinding. I grind my teeth and it makes my face all swollen but at the moment I'm just kind of like writing it out and just seeing if anything, I don't even know. I just haven't committed to getting it again just yet. I'm just seeing what happens. I 
love this. This is probably one of my favorite uh, contours ever. Like, it's so good. And in my eyes, I'm gonna use my Nabla Close Up Cancela in Cream Beige. I'm gonna use a detail face brush, Big So Beauty, to blend this out. This is from the Vegan 2.0 face brush set, or complete brush set. And I've just figured out that it is literally a dream to blend out your concealer. It's so good. So if you have this brush and you don't use it very often, or I don't know. Like, I mean, I use this brush literally all the time because it's my favorite, co uh, not contouring, my favorite highlight brush. I literally use it like every time I highlight. But now I like to use it for my concealer too. It's flawless, like so quick as well. And it fits perfectly, but it's still like, you know, slightly bigger, so it just buffs out and blows out the product so that it's quick and nice and even. Okay, obsessed. Now I'm going to set my face. This is MAC NC20 Studio Fix Powder. And then I've just wiped off my brush and I'm going to follow up under my eyes with the shade 2 from the KKW Brighton Under Eye Powder. I really like this stuff. I feel like I'm breathing really heavily because my hay fever today is like <laughs> next level. I was at the gym like repeatedly just like sneezing, eh? Well, I was like, people are going to think I've got COVID or something. Well, not really because we don't really have it in New Zealand. But, you know, I was like, this looks sketchy. I promise I'm not sick. <laughs> All right. And now I'm going to use this again that I used in my last video because I think it's so pretty. It's the Italian Summer Face Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's got like a nice deep bronzer well, on my skin tone and then a highlight and blush don't know if i use the blush yet but maybe i'm just going to use this jumbo face brush and apply the bronzer around my temples and like just the other high areas around my face so kind of above the contour and on my nose this bronzer really does blend out so easily i love this brush for Bronzing too, this is a jumbo face brush. Oh my gosh, there's nothing like a nice bronzed makeup look, I swear. I'm gonna use this VT BTS um, Stay It. It's like a brow duo thing in the shade 02. So it's got a pencil on one side. I'm just going to fill in a couple of gaps. And then on the other side, it's got a little mascara. I might just pop on a little bit of the little blush <laughs> with the same brush because it's just like a natural kind of vibe. Anyway, it's not too bright, so it should go with anything. I'm just going to start with a little bit. And then I'm going to take the same brush again. I used it in my eyes with the highlighter. Highlighter's stunning. And now I can just go over with a little bit of setting spray. Let's use the Professional Super Setter. Now for the eye makeup, I thought I would try out this new palette, the New Romantic by Beauty Bay. Because the colours look so pretty. I feel like we can use a couple of the pinkier tones. So I'm going to start with Birthday. The colours aren't perfect with the candle box because the candle box is literally like a pastel. But this is just kind of the background um, to the more graphic liner. So I feel like it will look really nice and put together once we um, do that graphic liner. I'm obsessed with graphic lightener lately. Who am I? Those colors are really nice pale like baby pastel pink. And then I'm gonna go in with Flamingo, which is just a shade or two darker. I'm just gonna intensify that. And then I think I just want something quite shimmery on the lid. I'm gonna take Queen maybe or Raspberry. Actually first let me just take a little bit of Milkshake, this bright hot pink right here. And just kind of add that, whoa, that's so pigmented, to like the outer corner and lash line. I'm just using one brush. This is the Tulip Crease Brush. Why am I so obsessed with pink makeup lately? It's a problem. I'm going to take this colour underneath as well. So the actual name of the candle I think is Birthday Cake and Sprinkles or something like that. So maybe I could do a little bit of a glitter instead of doing like a pink shimmer on the lid like I first thought. Maybe that would look cute. Actually, let me go back into this palette I used in my last video as well. The Too Hot Pressed Powder Palette by Colourpop. And we'll just go with the lightest colour, which is called Lol No. It's that one at the very bottom there. 
and I'm just going to pop that on as like a base layer and then I think I might chuck some glitter on top. Oh my god, I'm currently listening to Play by J Lo throwback. That used to be such a it still is such a banger. I love it. I'm not a huge fan of J Lo music, not a lie. Like at all. But like play hits different. I'm gonna layer a little bit of the what does that even say? The ivy? The middle colour. Just because it's got a little bit more of a punch to it. I'm obsessed with that colour in the outer corner. That's so cool. Let me just add a little bit more of Flamingo. Just because I feel like I overblended it a little bit. Oh my god. Skrillex dropped a new song today and I love it. It's called Supersonic. And I've listened to it probably like 50 times. Or, no, that's a lie. I've probably listened to it about 10 times since this morning. And it is currently at 11.45am. So... Yeah, sorry, not sorry. I love it. I think I found the perfect color lit glitter. This is called Margarita. It is size three and it kind of looks like little sprinkles. Like obviously not exactly, but like just the color tones. Oh my God, I've never even used this one. It's gonna be so hard for you guys to see, but it's like pink and green reflex. Perfect. Hey, fever. <laughs> this is my life. Okay, I'm gonna take the same brush, which is actually just my dual ended Paddle brush by So Beauty. Take a little bit of adhesive. I'm using the lit one. Maybe like inner corners. And lower lash line. And then a little bit kind of on top of some of the pink. Not too much because we're going to do a graphic liner so. Oh my God, I should just leave it like this because that looks pretty. But then this tutorial is kind of like pointless because like I've already done pink looks lately. So I really want to like challenge myself a bit. I have some rogue glitters, but I guess it'll just add to the effect, right? <laughs> okay, now for the scary part, the graphic liner. So I'm gonna mix together Mood Ring and Spandex, and these are by Glam Vice. So I'm going to, what am I gonna do? Do I just do my classic like wing and then in? Okay, let's be honest, it probably looked way better before I did the green, but at least it's unique. Now I'm gonna try and match the color and the shape. That's definitely a bit more like green, but whatever. <laughs> bit uneven, but close enough, all right? I'm gonna let that dry. Now I might just touch up a couple of those areas just with a bit of paint to make it nice and you know, even thickness. I like to have the mindset when I'm doing it. I looks like this, that it's kind of like art, like it's not gonna be perfect, cause I'm not that good, you know? You have to have that mindset going into it that it's probably not gonna be perfectly symmetrical, but it's still gonna look badass, and it's okay. Like, as long as you try your best, there's no point getting upset if it doesn't look perfect. Like, I still think that looks pretty cool. So, I'm going to pop on some mascara. This is one I've been working on myself. Let me know what you guys think of the results. Oh, well, I've got, like, glitter and teal um, eyeliner stuck in my lashes. So, we might get some more clumps than usual. So, I'll be putting on some false lashes. Oh, and my camera is dying. Something different. So, there's the before and after. I personally love the effect. For lashes today, I'm going to use EXO Beauty Baby Girl, which are, fun fact, Hamish's favourite lashes on me. When I wear these, he always compliments them. They look like this. And they're quite clustery, a little bit crisscrossy, a little bit straight, and they just give you those, like, doll-like eyes. They're not super, super curled, so they don't block up all of your lid space. They don't, like, cover all the work that you've done, so they'll be perfect for this look. Let's just do it before and after. Here's the before. And after they're still drying, but you get the gist. They're so cute. I need to do another declutter too very soon. I'm gonna add a little bit more blush. This one is Too Faced Love Flush in Justify My Love. Oh, so pretty. And then on my lips, what do I wanna do? I'm gonna go in with, <laughs> ah, get back in. Um, this is the Kylie Jenner Bare Lip Liner. Oh my god, now it's fallen back in. Oh my god, what's happening? And then on top of that, I think I'm gonna use Rescue Me by Exo Beauty. 
that look cute and then as a final touch I'm taking Insomniac by Colourpop eyeliner and popping some in my waterline well that's like not really the right type of color Hold on. let me match it and then we'll layer it There's so many freaking huge jets going over my house today we'll put on good reef on top a bit more setting spray okay what do we think it looks cute right and then if i put on like a white top or baby pink top or something rather than this one like it still works but i just feel like we could make it better hopefully the brand likes this makeup i'm gonna take out my clip so you can see the finished result there we have it i feel really weird with this hair color but i do really like it it's just like when you change your hair and you look in the mirror and you're just like that doesn't even look like me um it'll be interesting to see if it grows on me even more because i like it but i'm not like sold on it for like the rest of my life vibes like i'm like i low-key do miss the light blonde um but this is fun look how beautiful that color is i'll link below my hairdresser down below if you're curious i always get questions on who does my hair um she's based down broadway in palmerston also yeah i'll put her details below but she's amazing i've been going to her ever since 2013 i think so but yeah it literally looks like i'm low-key brunette it's a vibe but I don't know. I'm confused. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of chill chit chat get ready with me. Um, yeah, I think it came out really cute, so I'm happy. Also, comment below before I go. Let me know what your favorite candle is. Like, surely you guys are candle junkies like me. Surely. Do you have a favorite candle? I would love to check it out. <laughs> Bye!